As the sun rose this morning, it looked stunning. But its power goes far beyond inspiring awe. The UK braced for a national emergency in unprecedented heat. This is not a wildfire in the Mediterranean, but the Isle of Sheppey in Kent, still smouldering and dangerously hot. It's thought sparks from fireworks ignited the tinder dry grass. Where it's been so hot and dry, obviously the field started off as a little fire, but then escalated really quick. And it's set to get worse. The UK's first red extreme heat warning has been issued for large parts of England on Monday and Tuesday. It's thought it could reach 40 degrees. That would be the highest temperature ever recorded here. But people are being warned of the dangers of attempting to cool off in open water. At Salford Keys, a 16-year-old boy died while swimming with friends. Those drawn to the seaside were enjoying Skegness today, but the RNLI is reminding the many visitors to the coast to take care. Ambulances and hospitals are set to be even more stretched in the coming days. Paramedics from the charity St John Ambulance will be out supporting NHS crews. One of the other things that's really important is we keep our staff and volunteers safe and hydrated. Their team's already dealing with the dangerous effects of this weather. People suffering with heat strokes, suffering with dehydration, the elderly and the vulnerable may not necessarily be drinking as much water as they need to. And we're also seeing young children suffer with dehydration, but also burns when they're crawling out on the hot patio. So it's really important that we keep all these people safe. Transport will be disrupted with people urged not to travel such ferocious heat can buckle railway lines and on Tuesday LNER has cancelled all its trains between London, York and Leeds. In Plymouth, the crowds weren't just sun seekers, but activists from Extinction Rebellion, here to highlight the lethal impact of climate change. Rebecca Barry, ITV News.